we are back in session. Uh, we need to uh, open the uh, Board of Equalization uh, to conduct business. Uh, Marshall, will you swear in the uh, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> The board Mr. members. Stand. Your stand on the Bible, raise your right hand. Repeat after me. I please state your name. I, John Bell. Do solemnly swear to affirm. Do solemnly swear. I'm sorry, do solemnly swear or affirm. That I will support and maintain the Constitution and laws of the United States. That I will support and maintain the Constitution of the laws of the United States. And the Constitution and laws of North Carolina. And the Constitution and laws of North Carolina. Not inconsistent therewith. Not inconsistent therewith. And that I will faithfully discharge the duties of my office as a member of the Board of Equalization and Review of Wayne County, North Carolina. And that I will faithfully discharge the duties of my office as a member of the Board of Equalization and Review of Wayne County, North Carolina. And that I will not allow my actions as a member of the Board of Equalization and Review. And I will not allow my actions as a member of the Board of Equalization and Review. To be influenced by personal or political friendships or obligations, so to help be, me God. To be influenced by personal or political friendships or obligations, so help me God. Thank you. If you'll swear, uh, sign your oath. <coughs> The Board of Equalization Review for uh, 2014. Is there anyone here to appeal uh, any of their values this morning? If not, Mr. David, if you would uh, give a brief update on the uh, equalization. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman, Commissioners. We don't have anyone here to appear before you this morning. We have, we uh, normally we start receiving informal appeals beginning in January, and we have right now uh, 33 owners who've appealed values on 43 parcels. Those are broken down 37 residential and six commercial. We'll continue to work these. Once we finalize them, notify the owner if they want to appear before you, then we'll schedule them to do that. That's where we are right now. But normally, y'all resolve a lot of them before they, before they ever come to us. That, normally, that happens, yes, sir. Okay, normally. Depending. Any questions for Mr. Ward? Excuse me, Mr. Darden. Is that an annual thing that? Yes. Yeah. We uh, <clears throat> obviously, when you have your countywide reevaluation or re reappraisal, then uh, that's when you get most of your business. Right. Uh, but yes, every year you have to hold the board of equalization review. Anybody that wishes to appeal their value can't do it at that time. And what we normally do, as I said, we normally in January start taking informal appeals. We'll have them come in, we'll get them the paperwork, have them fill the information out, supply it to us, and we'll start working those appeals. Actually going out and looking at the property, reviewing the information they've submitted to us. So you re-evaluate uh, all properties every eight years. Correct. But if in the fourth year a, uh, uh, a property owner looks at their tax bill and they say, well, you know, my property is not worth that, they can then appeal to the tax office on an annual basis that's opened up? They can appeal on an annual basis. Now, we are still locked into our schedule of values uh, as of our reevaluation. 
Right. But what happens sometimes, for whatever reason, someone, if they think they've got a value problem, they don't appeal during revaluation, they may miss it first year, second year, third year. Sometimes maybe something's happened to their property. Maybe right. there's some, you know, some conditions that weren't, didn't exist at revaluation time. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Question. Mr. Bates. Just a basic question. Those numbers you just read out, is that about average or, or is that fluctuating up down year to year? It just fluctuates a little bit. I'd say that's probably in a non revaluation year, probably about average, I'd say. Yeah, I, mean, I was just it's curious. It's going to change. Okay, thanks. Just depends. Sure. Mr. Mayor, <clears throat> just as a matter of information uh, for the public, am, am I correct on the year of an, an evaluation? If I remember correctly, the, the cutoff point of the comparables that you use is after the year before? Correct, because a revaluation are effective the first January 1 of a given year. Any sales, anything that we look at uh, for that revaluation would be for the prior year, sometimes the prior two years, depending on how many sales we can locate when we're, when we're doing that. So, so the the number of appeals you get is going to determine whether real estate is up during the year of evaluation or down, as compared to what you're comparing to. Well, it depends. Yes. Yeah. Okay. It depends. Thank you. Any other questions for Dave? Thank you, Dave. Do we need a motion to recess this? You're going to recess until May 20th. We're going to recess until May the 20th at 8:30 a.m. We need a motion on that. Can I just you, can just, you can just recess. Okay. I'll recess. The Board of Equalization and Review will reconvene on May the 20th, 2014 at 8.30 a.m. Thank you. We've got about five minutes before we start our regular meeting. Clock time to convene for uh, <coughs> Wayne County Board of Commissioners meeting. We'd like to ask if anyone has their cell phones or pagers on to please cut them off or either put them on silent mode. Invocation, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, before we uh, pray, I want to uh, <coughs> read a verse of scripture from. 2 Corinthians 4 18 Paul writes the things which are seen are temporary but the things which are not seen are eternal a good example of this is most, most of you some of you probably know uh, Fanny Crosby uh, she lost her sight as an infant but yet amazingly she went on to become one of the most well known lyricist of Christian hymns. During her long life, she wrote over 9,000 hymns. Among them are such enduring favorites as Blessed Assurance and To God Be the Glory. So we are reminded today that what is eternal, what we can't see is eternal. This is a perfect example of that. Let us pray. Father, we thank you, Lord, for the freedom that we have to come together today to conduct the business of Wayne County. And I ask, Father, that you give us the wisdom to conduct ourselves in a way that is pleasing to you. Today, Father, I ask a special blessing on those around us in our county, state, and country, yes, even our world, that are hurting today, whether it be health-related, or quality of life. Father, soften our hearts here in this country, this country of plenty, that we may be willing to give of ourselves and of our resources 
to others as you have given and blessed us. Ask a special blessing today for the men and women that are serving in our military, our police force, our fire departments, our emergency services, that, Father, that they may know beyond a shadow of a doubt that you are with them and keeping them safe. But today, most of all, Father, I ask an extra measure of your love and your mercy on America that we may all experience a renewal of the Ten Commandments that sets the moral standard for our society as a whole. And as we conduct this commissioner's meeting today, Lord, we know that our decisions that we make are not, are not the final decision, that you are the final decision maker. Revelation 1.8 says, I am the Omega, Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. These things I ask in your holy name this day. Amen. Who would stand and face the flag? Pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Mr. Mayo. Mr. Bale. Uh, any adjustments to the agenda? Mr. Wood. Uh, Mr. Chairman, we have uh, two things to add. One is the appointment to the uh, Marmac Fire Protection Commission, uh, and we discussed that at the 8 o'clock meeting. Also, uh, the school board has uh, adopted a resolution moving forward with the design bid build uh, format that we had agreed to at the last meeting, and uh, they have sent a resolution over to you this morning. I uh, received it between the 8 o'clock and the 9 o'clock meeting. Uh, I've placed one at each of your uh, places up there. Uh, in addition to that, uh, since they are moving forward with the construction manager at risk process now, uh, we need to move forward as quickly as possible and appoint them uh, our agent for constructing these schools. As you recall, and what you're going to do later in this meeting <coughs> is you're going to um, adopt a, patch, uh, a packet of documents uh, naming them your agent for doing the renovation work on the, the $12.3 million worth of renovation work on three schools. And we will be going through that same process on these two schools. And as you recall, the reason for that is, is that the county, if it is the owner of the buildings, uh, is eligible to get reimbursement of the sales tax that's spent on the schools. For whatever reason, North Carolina law does not allow that for school systems. So what we do is we temporarily transfer the property over to the board, or to the uh, board of commissioners from the board of education, uh, and that's what uh, the process will be on the 12.3 million. We will also do that later for the schools, but to start that process so that they can move forward in uh, getting their bids on the street and uh, get the bids in, so we can go to the local government commission. We're asking that today you add um, the resolution that Mr. Parker has drafted up for you, which basically says that the schools will be uh, your agent in, um, uh, in building these two schools. And it also says that uh, we'll enter into the agreement, which I just talked about there, for the completion of them. Uh, and so we'd like to add that. And special recognition. Yes. And the one other thing that we have, we want to add uh, a special recognition to the agenda uh, at the beginning. Thank you. Uh, has anyone else got any adjustments to the agenda? If not, we do have uh, special recognition this morning, uh, and I'm going to ask the uh, entire board, please, if we to step down front, and uh, Mr. Steve King, if you would come up with us, please.
gonna stand right here at the microphone uh, so our <coughs> listeners can hear. Uh, it's my honor and privilege, uh, Mr. Steve King, uh, I'd like to thank you for your many years of service on this board. Uh, we would like to present this plaque to you. Uh, the Wayne County, the County of Wayne, in appreciation of dedicated service as a County Commissioner, Steve P. King, December the 1st, 2008 to April the 25th of 2014. Uh, and Steve, I'd like to present this to you, and we thank you for your dedicated service. And we're excited, and I know you're excited about your new uh, position with the governor. Uh, but thank you so much for, for your dedication to Wayne County. Thank you. And, and don't forget us. No, sir. I won't. No, and no, sir. <laughs> have you, do you want to say anything? or? Well, I will. If, yeah, go ahead. Will, I guess. Okay. All right. I uh, thank you so much for uh, this morning's recognition. I really appreciate this honor. And uh, there's a lot that I could say and I, and I won't, but there's just a minute I want to, to tell you that, and those that are listening and, and watching live this morning, is that this is like maybe a college that I never attended. Uh, it is a classroom. Uh, as a freshman in college, I guess, or a freshman in high school, going into a high school and having four years to graduate. And this is what I have done in five years, is use this as a classroom. And there was one part of, of this when I came in in 08, is that I'm honored to say that I am leaving like I came in, clean, with my integrity intact, that I wavered not away from what was right. With every moment I spent in this classroom, I would encourage each of you to do the same, to not get distracted, to stay focused on the people that you represent, and always do what is right. There are so many of us in elected positions at this moment, even today, as we saw in the news this morning, where those have jeopardized their seat representing the people by doing something because they got distracted and they did not stay focused what was important. The other part I want to finish with is that the governor reaches out through me for customer service for you and the people of Wayne County <coughs> and 33 other counties that I represent. And the, the governor wants to make sure that I be plugged into you and to the municipalities with the mayor, the county managers, and the commissioners, the sheriffs, and the police chiefs, the fire chiefs, those who are leaders, that we aren't all leaders in some fashion, but his goal is to make sure that he understands the people. And that is my role as we move forward as the director for Eastern North Carolina. Uh, there is a lot going on in health services, as you know, commerce, transportation, jobs. Um, we're excited about Eastern North Carolina, and I'm honored to serve the governor in this, this position. But as much so, I am honored to have been a commissioner serving with you in Wayne County. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.
we had to move part of our new business up to the top uh, to save some of our guests uh, some time from having to sit here all day. Uh, first item, uh, filling the District 4 vacancy on the Board of Commissioners pre presentation by the uh, County Attorney. But before that, uh, I have Mr. Bob Jackson, Chairman of the GOP Party of <coughs> Wayne County, would like to come up and uh, make a recommendation, please. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, members of the board. First, I'd like to express the appreciation of the Wayne County Republican Party to Mr. Steve Keene for his five years of service. Uh, I have never met a more dedicated and, and determined person to, to fill their position the best they could, uh, more so than Steve Keene. Uh, it is with a great deal of pleasure that I rec make a recommendation to you this morning to fill Steve's seat, vacant seat. Um, we, uh, we did meet and, and uh, determined that uh, one person would be our selection and, and that person is the one that we'll recommend to you this morning. And if it's okay, I will read that uh, uh, recommendation uh, to the Wayne County Commissioners from Wayne County Re Republican Executive Committee. Please be advised that the Wayne County Executive Committee met in closed session on Monday, May 5th, 2014 at 8 p.m. to interview candidates for District 4 Commissioner's seat, Steve Keene's Keen seat. The committee unanimously selected Archie Joe Gurley III to serve as District 4 Commissioner until an election can be held in November 2014. Signed, Bob Jackson, Chairman. Appreciate that very much, and that would be our recommendation that you consider uh, Mr. Gurley for, for that seat. Thank you, Mr. Jackson. Oh. Do I have a look on the floor? Mr. Chairman, uh, I would like to recommend a motion that we accept the recommendation of the GOP Chairman. and appoint Mr. 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 Archie Gurley, <laughs> Joe Gurley, <laughs> <laughs> as uh, to the Board of Commissioners uh, to replace the uh, Commissioner Steve King, as of June the 1st, 2014. I have a motion on the floor. Any discussion? Mr. Chair. Mr. Doherty. I'm not sure I recognize who this is. Archie? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I just had to say it. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, I will also amend that as soon as the county manager make a statement okay. uh, to that effect. Okay. Uh, I want to say one thing. Mr. Payton. Um, I'm just glad to know that I won't be the youngest man sitting up here on this board any longer. <laughs> got somebody who'll have to listen to me for a change. Look forward to working with you, Joe. Mr. Mr. Does he want to make his comment? Yes, Mr. Mr. Wood, if you would kind of clarify uh, the, the board and, and our listeners on uh, what the process is going to be for okay. Mr. Uh, Gurley. Mr. Chairman, uh, I've, I've met with Joe, and uh, what we've determined is uh, he's still got a few things he'd like to get accomplished uh, as the director of the Office of Emergency Services. So what we'd like to do is uh, have him remain employed through May 31st, uh, which should give him time to finish up on those projects. So what we're requesting is that uh, you make the effective date of this appointment uh, June the 1st. So you, you would vote today, but it would take effect on June the 1st. And uh, during that time, you're going to have two meetings, one at which you vote and one at which you just um, uh, receive the information on the budget. Uh, the budget meeting would be uh, May 27th. The regular meeting would be May 20th. And during those two days, uh, Joe would take vacation days so that uh, he would be here on his time and, and uh, not you know, while he was working for the county. So again, he would remain employed through May 31st. Uh, that gives him time to finish some projects. Uh, also, as you may imagine, it takes a little bit of time to uh, file the necessary paperwork for the uh, North Carolina Local Government Employees Retirement System and that sort of thing as well. So uh, this, this is what we've agreed to do if, if y'all are in agreement with that. Well, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Bell. I would like to amend my motion to include what the county manager uh, just stated. Thank you, Mr. Add Bell. that to it. Any other comments? If not, we have a motion on the floor with uh, Mr. Bell's amendment. Uh, all in favor, show a sign of right hand. Unanimous vote. Ms. Marshall. Yes, sir. Welcome aboard, Mr. Gurley. Thank you. Look forward to look uh, look forward to working with you. 
Uh, not that we haven't been happened in the past, but, but well <coughs> before. Anybody make any comments? Mr. Chairman, while he's coming, I'd like to ask him a question. Do we call you Archer or <laughs> what? <I mean? laughs> tell you as I tell my lovely bride, just call me, it's time to eat. <laughs> um, thank you. I, I'm most humbled and um, appreciative of the appointment. I ask you uh, for your uh, support and guidance, and uh, sincerely thank you for your vote of confidence. I look forward to working with each one of you. And as important, or as more important, I look forward for a successful Wayne County government and for all of our people and uh, everyone that transits through here on a daily basis. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Gurley. Okay. Mr. Chair. Mr. Doherty. The more I think about that, it might, probably would be a good idea to call him Archie since he's already a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. We will not get y'all confused. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We have most of the spectrum on our <laughs> Okay. Uh, let's see, we're taking care of number 12. We got that motion out of the way. Uh, Next item number one under new business, uh, motion to approve to May 2014 is Mental Health Month in Wayne County Proclamation. Uh, Mr. Pate. Yes, sir. You read that, I'll please. take care of it. Uh, North Carolina, Wayne County. Whereas mental health is essential to everyone's overall physical health and emotional well-being and caring for your mind as well as your body is good for your overall health and vital for success in your personal life at work and at school and Whereas mental illness will strike nearly one in four adults and children in a given year, regardless of age, gender, race, ethnicity, religion, or economic status, and whereas the mental health problems are treatable, as many physical illnesses and, and people who have mental illness can recover and lead a full productive lives, and whereas an estimated two-thirds of adults and young people who have mental health disorders are not receiving the help they need, and Whereas the cost of untreated and mistreated mental illness and addictive disorders to American businesses, governments, and families has grown to 100 billion annually. And whereas community based services that respond to individual family needs are cost effective and beneficial to consumers and the community. And whereas East Point Health, excuse me, East Point Human Services and the Mental Health Association of Wayne County are engaged in helping people to achieve healthy minds and healthy lives. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Wayne County Board of Commissioners does here, hereby proclaim May 2014 is Mental Health Month in Wayne County and calls upon the citizens, government agencies, public and private institutions, businesses, and schools to recognize the importance of mental as well as physical health and to commit our community to increasing awareness and understanding of mental health and the needs for appropriate and accessible services for all people who have mental <coughs> illnesses. This sixth day of May, 2014, George Wayne Eckhart, Chairman. I make this a form of motion, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Mr. Pate. I have a motion on the floor in discussion. Then all in favor show a sign of right hand. Motion carries unanimous. Thank you, Mr. Pate. Yes, sir. Next item, uh, motion to approve the May 2014 is Relay for Life Month in Wayne County Proclamation. And I will read that one. Uh, it's, uh, this is dear to my heart. Uh, I've had uh, quite a bit of dealings with cancer in my family. And this is dear to my heart. Uh, as you can see, I may not look good in purple, but uh, I'm proud to wear my purple today. Uh, whereas Relay for Life is the American Cancer Society's signature tier activity and celebrates cancer survivor uh, Caregivers, rem remembers loved ones lost to disease, empowers individuals and communities to fight against cancer, and whereas money raised for Relay for Life supports the American Cancer Society mission of saving lives, creating a world with less cancer and more birthdays, by helping people stay well, by helping people get well, by finding cures for cancer and fighting back, and whereas 
Since 1985, the Relay for Life movement has grown into a worldwide uh, phenomenon, raising more than $4 billion to fight $4 billion to fight cancer. And whereas Relay for Life in Wayne County is a community gathering that helps raise awareness and funds for the American Cancer Society to continue to do research and to assist with patient service, education, adversary, and admissions to eliminate cancer is a health risk. Therefore, now that therefore be it resolved, the Wayne County Board of Commissioners urge all citizens to support Relay for Life by displaying their purple ribbons in support of Show Your Purple Week, uh, the entire week prior to the Relay for Life event on May the 16th, 17th, 2014. Now therefore be it further resolved that the Wayne County Board of Commissioners does hereby proclaim May 2014 is Relay for Life Month in Wayne County and urges all citizens to show their support for the American Cancer Society annual Relay for Life in Wayne County to be held on May the 16th, 17th, 2014 at the Wayne County Regional Fairgrounds. This the sixth day of May 2014. George Wayne Acock, Jr., Chairman. Uh, I submit that as a, uh, in the form of a motion. Uh, any discussion? No discussion. All in favor, show a sign of right hand. Motion carries unanimous. And also, uh, we have Miss Brenda Robinson. Robinson. Robinson from Relay for Life, and she would like to say just a word or two, please. Just briefly, I just want to say that a uh, hundred years ago, when the American Cancer Society started. Uh, the word cancer was a death sentence. There wasn't a lot of hope for treatment. And because of the money that Relay for Life has raised over the years and provided uh, funding for research, there is no longer a death sentence. There's many cancers today that are treatable. People are surviving it. And it's because of the research. So we thank you for your continued support. And we hope to see you all at Relay. <laughs> thank, thank you. you. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Motion to approve National Police Week and Peace Officer Memorial Day Proclamation. Uh, Mr. Bell, I <coughs> think you're going to read that for us, please. Okay. Uh, whereas member of the Wayne County Sheriff Office plays an essential role in safeguarding the rights and freedom of Wayne County, and whereas it is important that all citizens know and understand the duties, responsibilities, hazards, and sacrifice of their county law enforcement agency, and whereas member of the Wayne County Sheriff's Department recognize their duties to serve the citizens by safeguarding life and property, by protecting them against violence and disorder, and protecting the innocent against deception and the weak against oppression. And whereas the men and women of the law enforcement community of Wayne County increasingly provide a vital role, vital police services, and therefore I'm sorry, excuse me. Not therefore, be it resolved that the Wayne County Board of Commissioners call upon the citizens of Wayne County to observe the week of May the 11th through 17, 2014, as National Police Week and appropriate ceremonies and obs observation mm, observance. <laughs> I'm getting all mixed up here this morning. My glass is filling up with water. Observance in which all people may. John, in the commemorating past and present law enforcement officers who have rendered a dedicated service to communities by their faithful and loyal uh, devotion to their responsibilities. Now, therefore, be it further resolved that the Wayne County Board of Commissioners call upon all citizens of Wayne County to participate in the Wayne County observance on May the 7th, 2014, at 9 a.m. The Wayne County uh, Community College public safety uh, memorial in honor of the law enforcement officers who made the ultimate sacrifice in service of and have become disabled or in the performance of the duty. The Board of Commission recognized and pays its respect to our injured officers and the survivors of our fallen heroes. Uh, this 6th day of May 2014, George Wayne Acock, Chairman, Board of Commissioners. Thank you, Mr. Bell. Any discussion? 
All in favor of the motion, show of sign of right hand. Motion carries unanimous. Sheriff Pierce, would you like to make some comments, please? Well, thank you, Mr. Chairman, uh, Board of Commissioners. It's my pleasure and my honor to be here this morning to appear before you as your sheriff and as a servant of this, of this great county. Uh, there have been many men and women that have gone before me and my staff that have served this county, this state, and this nation that have uh, dedicated their lives to serve in the law enforcement capacity. And as we celebrate National Police Week, we want to remember those that not only have served, but also that have dedicated and given the ultimate sacrifice, their lives in the performance of their duties. And so I thank you for this proclamation and for the remembrance that you have presented this morning. Thank you, Sheriff. Do I have a motion that we approve the minutes of the March 25th meeting, April 1st meeting, April 8th, April 15th, and April 25th? So moved, Mr. Chairman. Have a motion on the floor that we approve the minutes of those meetings. Uh, any discussion? No discussion. Just, just one thing. I just Mr. want to thank, thank Marshall for putting those together because it was very, very lengthy. It took me quite a while to read, so thanks for your good work. <laughs> No other discussion. All in favor of the adoption of the minutes, uh, but please show a sign of right hand. Motion carries unanimous. Uh, former committee, Mr. Mayo. Yeah, thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman. If you can find it, uh, the, the appointments uh, are about almost to look more than halfway your book. What's your page number? Uh, the new page number I have the one group. The one before it is 18. page 18. And there's more yeah. than one 18 in there, so there's about two 18s in here, I think. <laughs> but if that gives you any idea, it was just a sign. It's about that. 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 It's it's the April 25th meeting no, minutes, dash yeah. 18 minutes. Yeah, April 20th, right after the April 25th uh, meeting minutes. No, 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 you're wrong way. We should put it in yours. April 24th. <laughs> that's 18, but that's the wrong one. Oh, there it is. Right. Here we are. Okay. Everybody found it? All the commissioners found it? Okay. Um, the, first, the, the first appointment is, even though it's not highlighted, is the Eastern Carolina Workforce Development Board. Um, we have a, a reappointment this morning of Gerald Jones uh, to continue to serve on this uh, board, development board, and I make that in the form of a motion, Mr. Chair. A motion on the floor, any discussion? No discussion. Show a sign of right hand for uh, Mr. Gerald Jones. Motion carries unanimous. If you will uh, turn to page, uh, the next highlighted one is, is Child Fat Fatality Prevention Team. Uh, this is a new appointment uh, and the board the appointment committee recommends uh, Andrew Takaro uh, as an appointment to the child fatality prevention team that's a appointment <coughs> a motion Mr. Chair a motion on the floor any discussion if no discussion uh, please show a sign of right hand for Mr. Andrew Takaro motion carries unanimous if you will turn to page, uh, the next one is the Wayne County of Veterans Services Advisory Committee. Um, we have uh, we have uh, three today that uh, will be reappointed, and and they are Bill Boyd, uh, William Graham, and Al Green. And uh, I recommend and make a motion that we accept those three uh, to be reappointed to the Wayne County Veteran Services Advisory Committee. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I have 
motion on the floor uh, for Bill Boyd, William S. Graham, and Al Green to serve on the Veterans Advisory Committee. Uh, all in favor, show of sign a right hand. Motion carries unanimous. The, the next one at the bottom of the page is the uh, Wayne County ABC Board and the uh, appointment to the ABC Board uh, from the appointment committee is uh, Mr. Efton Sager. And I make that informed for motion. Mr. Chairman. Mr. I'll, Bale. I would like to amend that motion and ask the board to reappoint uh, Mr. Joe Sawyer. Mr. Joe Sawyer have done a good job on the ABC Board and uh, I would like to see him remain on that board. I have a motion on the floor and an amendment. Uh, we need that on the amendment first. Yes, sir. Uh, I have an amendment on the floor to uh, nominate Mr. Joe Sawyer. Uh, any discussion other than what Mr. Bale has stated? Yes, Mr. Mr. Camardi. In the past, I have asked some questions about how uh, appointments are made or uh, reappointed to different boards uh, in that the appointment committee meets a half hour before we meet. Uh, and this is just for some hope for clarification of the process so that the board members who are going to vote on people would know more about it. I'm just asking someone, should that appointment, should that committee time be moved so that we know more about what we're voting on before we get to this meeting? Because uh, in my meager understanding, sometimes folk are asked to remain on boards and uh, we summarily come up here and vote on them after the three members have, I guess, only studied it a half hour earlier before our uh, <coughs> briefing. So it doesn't seem to me to lend enough time to understand who it is that's going to be appointed to the boards and then to give a chance to see if those folk want to remain on the boards and to see if the committees who they are serving with have requested that they remain on there. So I think this process needs to be looked at a little bit because uh, I've not, I'm not sure that I ever truly understood what how the process worked, and I question whether or not it's absolutely fair to everyone concerned. Mr. Mayor, that's a lot of time and effort. I've been on this appointment committee uh, for two and a half years. There's a lot of time and effort that goes into this, and I'll be honest with you, I'm offended when somebody says that this appointment committee seems to be insignificant because we put a lot of time into it. I'm the chairman and I spend at least two to three hours a week looking and trying to get people right for these boards. If a board like the ABC board does not recommend anyone to us, this appointment committee is responsible. Now anyone that puts in an application online for like for instance the ABC board Ms. Marshall, am I correct? Can anyone go and look at that application? Yes, sir. Okay. Every one of us commissioners can go on the website and see everyone that has put in an application. This is a thankless position. Everybody knows it. And we, this board, this appointment committee, is putting in a lot of time. If anyone would like to volunteer to take it, you need, you need to come and do it because it is the very best that we can do. It's not based on, it's not based on uh, a party or anything else. What it is based on is what, if a person is qualified and who steps up and says that I would like to serve on that committee. The ABC board has made no recommendations to us at all. So I want to make it clear that I have put in a lot of time, Mr. Bell, Mr. Bill Pate, we put on a lot of time on this behind the scenes <clears throat> trying to come up with the best solution. Yes, it's flawed, okay? It's not perfect, but it's the best we have. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Wait, wait just a minute. Now, I, I wait, wait, to be recognized just... next. Mr. Pate. For those who don't understand how this board works, 
We start at 7.30 in the morning. It's posted, it's an open meeting. Anyone can come and listen and watch the proceedings. You can get up a little bit earlier and come on in and you can understand what's going on. Now back to Mr. Sager, not only has he served on this board, honorably as a commissioner, but he has served North Carolina in the House of Representatives and served Wayne County. I see him as a leader, a strong person, and I'll not change my mind on that. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Kamar. Mr. Chairman, I was not questioning anyone's uh, integrity of the amount of work they put into it. And if I hear that you put in three hours prior to you coming to the meeting, then uh, it surely seems like you have put in an excellent amount of time. And therefore, it lends to one of whether uh, how much of the decision making has been made before you get to the meeting that happens in the morning time. I only ask for more transparency, not to question anyone's integrity. And I'm not doubting that uh, you do this with the greatest sincerity. I did not mention party uh, as far as uh, 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 who gets on there by party, but it might be worthy to ask that question. Uh, are we keeping all the boards uh, balanced as far as party and race? So, you know, let's just make sure we're transparent in all these things. And surely this is not to question anyone's integrity or the amount of time that you're committed to it, nor the qualifications of any prospective or new members coming on. Uh, but I just would want to make sure that uh, uh, that anyone who has served on the board, if they wish to continue to serve on the board, that they be given ample opportunity to. Thank you, Mr. Clark. Mr. Doherty, you I call the question. I have a motion on the floor, an amendment on uh, Mr. Sawyer. Uh, no other discussion. All in favor, Mr. Sawyer, uh, show a sign of right hand. Oh, I, okay. All opposed? <laughs> uh, now we'll go back to Mr. Mayo's motion. I have a motion on the floor for Mr. Mayo, for Mr. Ephraim Sager. Uh, all in favor, show up, sign the right hand. Next appointment, Mr. Mayo. Opposed. Opposed. All opposed? Next Thank appointment, you. Mr. Mayo. Okay, yeah, we have quite a few this morning. Uh, turn the page, if we will. Um, Wayne County uh, Public Library Board of Advisors. Um, I'd like to appoint uh, Shirley McLam Edwards to to take the remaining term of uh, Lanisha Carraway, who has resigned, and this would be an appointment uh, to take the rest of her uh, term, Ms. Shirley McLam Edwards. I make that in the form of a motion, Mr. Chairman. A motion on the floor. Any discussion? No discussion. All in favor, show up, sign the right hand. Motion carries unanimous. On that same on that same committee, we have three reappointments: uh, James Spicer, Mary Bartlett, uh, Leslie uh, Weil. Will. I'm, Will, Will. I'm sorry. And four. And Lynn Williams. I'd like to make a motion that we. Uh, Re reappoint these to the Wayne County Public Library Board of Advisors. I have a motion on the floor and discussion. No discussion. All in favor, show up, sign the right hand. Motion carries unanimous. <clears throat> the next one down is the Wayne County Industrial and Business Park Development Corporation. Uh, make a, a motion, Mr. Chairman, that we reappoint uh, Commissioner Joe Daughtery, uh, myself, and uh, William H. Pate to this board. I have a motion on the floor. Any discussion? Mr. Chairman. Mr. Darling. This is one board that I'm a member of that has never met and, and don't understand why I'm on there, but I appreciate the appointment. It is a requirement okay. that we have this board. Okay. Uh, Ms. Marsha, <laughs> when's the last time this board has met? It's been? Maybe. 22 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> and, and if, if, 
if you would, <laughs> if you would explain, uh, explain why Mr. this has to, has to be, Mr. Parker. This, this was part of the uh, private public uh, group that uh, worked to get the industrial park, Park East, developed, and uh, it probably doesn't need to meet anymore. But uh, it's mm -hmm. nice that you're willing to stay on. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case, <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Mr. Daugherty, no, no reflection on Mr. Mayo and Mr. Pate, but now you know how important you are. <laughs> <laughs> Next point, Mr. Mayor. Uh, we, we we got got we'll have a vote on this. <laughs> yeah. I have a motion on the floor. Any other discussion? All in favor, show of sign of right hand. Motion carries unanimous. Um, Mr. Chairman, we have uh, we do have an addition. The uh, Wayne Community College uh, Board of Trustees. Um, I like to, um, and we do have a recommendation from. Uh, the, the, the Board of Trustees at Wayne Community College that uh, we appoint uh, Danny Jackson to, uh, to finish the rest of the term for uh, uh, Mrs. Uh, Ms. Lynn uh, Whitey, who has resigned, and I would like to make that in the form of a motion, Mr. Chairman. A motion on the floor. Any discussion? If no discussion, all in favor, show up, sign a right hand. Motion carries unanimous. I think that's it, Mr. Chairman. Yes, it is. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Moving on to unfinished business. Service on agents monitoring results from Eastern Carolina Council Area Agency on, on agents. Uh, Mr. Wood. Yes, sir. Uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, you have in your packet the letter from the Eastern Carolina Council. Uh, this was an excellent uh, report back on the operations of our senior center, and uh, I've asked Aaron McAuliffe to come and make a few comments to you about the letter and the, and the monitoring visit. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. Good morning. Um, this past February, David Rosado, the Deputy Human Services Director for the Eastern Carolina Council Area Agency on Aging, did a monitoring visit uh, at the senior center. And ECC is the agency that awards us uh, about half a million dollars in grant money each year, so it was a very important monitoring visit. He spent about two days and he went through our center with a fine tooth comb and he looked at our transportation program, senior center operations, information assistance, in home aid, and group respite. And I'm very proud to say he did not find a single error. Um, went through programs, client files, paperwork, everything. <coughs> in fact, he uh, is going to use one of our departments as a model for the other counties uh, in this region. So I wanted to just take this minute to commend my staff and publicly thank them. That represents a lot of hours, a lot of dedication. I have a wonderful, wonderful staff. Every single one of them pulls their weight and more. And uh, this monitoring visit showed it, so I just wanted to take the opportunity to let you know about it. Thank you. Thank you, Aaron. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Payne. I just want to say something to Aaron and her staff. I, too, commend the work that you're doing. Having served in government all the years that I've served and have as many reviews as I had and have no findings whatsoever is just is great work. Thank okay. you so much. Anyone else? Next item. Update regarding gateway rate increase, Mr. Wood. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I just wanted to briefly update you on that. Uh, we had a meeting with the uh, Gateway Board. Uh, Aaron was there, uh, uh, Board Parker, and uh, Pam Holt. Of course, Pam is on that board. Um, we feel like we're making progress towards uh, uh, getting some changes in the rate schedule, and uh, we'll continue to have some discussions with them and should have something back to you, I would say, uh, before the end of the fiscal year as far as regards those rates. Any questions for Mr. Wood? Just a quick comment if I could, Mr. 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 Chairman. Uh, it is my understanding that the rate increase on the rural side was uh, now determined to be a temporary rate yes. increase. Is that correct? Yes, it is. Uh, they said at that meeting it was designed to be temporary and so they will be coming to us with a new rate 
uh, between now and June 30th. And so that's what I'll come back to you with at that time. And, and we were able to present um, our um, finding as to where we thought the rate structure should be. And so they've taken that under advisement and, and are reviewing everything. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Mr. Doyle. Anyone else? Thank you, Mr. Wood. Mm -hmm. uh, moving on to unfinished business, item number three. Motion to approve resolution agreement and lease agreement between the Board of Commissioners and the Board of Education regarding Wayne County Public School renovation projects. Mr. Wood, and this is an action item. Yeah. Mr. Chairman, uh, I'm going to turn this over to uh, the county attorney. He's prepared all of these uh, uh, resolutions and agreements for you. Let him walk you through that. Uh, as you remember, you have approved uh, the expenditure of $12,320,463 for the renovation of Charles B. Aycock High School, Spring Creek Elementary School, Goldsboro High School, Dillard Middle School, and Carver Heights Middle School uh, campuses in an effort to make sure that the Wayne County taxpayers get the full benefit of the current law. Uh, it is necessary for the Board of Education to convey these uh, schools to the county so the county can own them and then the county will appoint and through these documents appoints the Board of Education to be its agent to uh, enter into the contracts and it might sound like a torturous process but under the current law that's the only way the Wayne County taxpayers can get the benefit of having the sales tax refund to them. So that's what these documents do, and these are the same kind of resolutions that you have had in the past when you've done the same thing to be able to save the Wayne County taxpayers that uh, tax, uh, sales tax, and get it back. The theory is that you will, and in these cases, because the money is already available, you will use, uh, as soon as the warranty period is over, you'll reconvey these uh, schools back to the Board of Education. In the meantime, there will be a lease that you uh, well, are leasing them back to them so they can continue to use them during the period of our construction and reconstruction. And I would recommend that you uh, adopt these. Do I have a motion? Mr. Chair. Mr. Doherty. I move that we approve the resolution, the agreement, and the lease agreement between the Board of Commissioners and the Board of Education regarding Wayne County Public School renovation projects. I have a motion on the floor. Any other discussion? <coughs> if no other discussion, all in favor show a sign of right hand. Motion.